Welcome to this week's edition of Pillar to Post. I'm Gabby Gaudette sitting alongside Trevor McCarthy. Uh, we're bringing him on here this week to talk about him being winning the year title here at Laurel Park. Definitely a big feat uh, here in Maryland. And how does it feel to get the year title here? Um, definitely feels pretty awesome to get the title. Um, I didn't have a chance to ride the Pimlico meet. You know, I had an injury in, in the beginning of April, and uh, to get the meet title is um, is very fortunate. And, um, you know, to be one of the top guys and to still be an apprentice, it means a lot. So you mentioned something about injury, and maybe just go back and touch on exactly what happened for those of us who don't know and kind of what you had to overcome to get back to the races. Um, in the morning I was working a horse and the horse kind of slammed on the brakes and I went over his head and I broke my left tibia. Um, I needed three screws. I, I got those and I was out for about five months. Um, it was, it was pretty depressing at the time because I had my goal set so much on the, um, the Eclipse Award. Um, and now that I couldn't get that, you know, it was, it was very depressing, but, um, I would kind of look beyond that and said to myself well you know I got a shot at this title and you know that was kind of like my new goal to look towards and um, so I kind of just you know worked on that worked on getting on back fit and getting on horses and stuff like that and then when I came back it was kind of pretty awesome that I I won my first mount back so I was pretty fortunate for that and um, I mean it started off pretty good and things are doing great right now so hopefully you know when I lose the bug and I become a journeyman I can adventure on well you definitely came back with a vengeance here when the meet started you started off very very well and even from the beginning of the meet until now obviously you've had a fantastic winter meet at laurel and maybe just talk about you know looking at some of the old pictures of your dad i even remember as a kid watching him ride and you guys gotta have a similar style of riding and maybe talk about how uh how your dad has influenced you in your career and how he still supports you today yeah, it's funny that you say that because um, a lot of people say that, oh, you know, you look like your dad on a horse, and, you know, it kind of cracks the both of us up. But, um, I mean, my daddy's taught me about 99% of what I know about the horses, you know, just about positioning them and um, finishing and all that, you know, just critiquing me all the time. And it's And it's funny because everybody kind of jokes around because, you know, he'll call me after every single race almost, you know, either a text message or call and, you know, just critiquing me on, on everything. And, um, you know, a lot of the other jockeys laugh and kind of get annoyed at it at the same time. But, um, you know, it's it's good to have him there for uh, his help. Definitely. I mean, he's definitely a seasoned rider, and he accomplished a lot in his career. So it's good to have a mentor like that, especially as a father. Um, but there's also been a couple mentors in your career. Uh, one, in my opinion, has been Graham Motion. He kind of – you started exercise riding for him out at Fair Hill. And just talk about maybe your experience with someone like – a trainer like Graham Motion and even getting some of his business when he comes back here to Maryland. Yeah, Graham, he's been absolutely great to me. Um, you know, I started out there when I was 15, uh, galloping, you know, I, I didn't really know how to gallop any horses at the time. So, um, you know, he just kind of, you know, brought me right in and said, you know, no problem, you know, here's a job. And, you know, he paid me and, um, you know, started galloping for him for, I galloped for him for about four years and he taught me everything, you know, he taught me how to breeze horses and, you know, how to get horses to relax. And he kind of taught me his mentor of training you know and and now that I ride for him and he gives me the opportunity to ride for him it, it, I kind of know how to ride for him I kind of know how he likes his horses to run and uh, I think that's why we kind of you know get along good in, in the afternoon with riding for him and stuff like that so um, and he's just been great you know he gave me my first uh, mount in uh, amateur race one year and I uh, finished second so you know Graham's just given me a lot of opportunities that's great. And just looking back at 2013 in general, you've had your ups and downs, obviously, with injuries, but a lot of success as well. Um, and maybe just think about the year to come. And you said that your goal last year was perhaps the Eclipse Award, and obviously with injury that wasn't able to happen. But your other goal was to get the year title here at Laurel, and you did that. What is your future goal for 2014? Um, 2014, you know, I have, I have a pretty big goal, but it's, it's, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's not like 
anyone else's goal. Really. You know, a lot of other guys are like, oh, you know, I want the title, I want this. But, you know, for me, my biggest goal is, you know, to um, be very successful with my journey, you know, becoming a journeyman. And I think that's very important, you know, because a lot of guys, you know, when they lose the bug and stuff like that, they kind of just drop. And, you know, with me, I just, I just hope that doesn't happen. You know, I just want to push and work hard and really do well without my bug so, you know, I can take this into – uh, you know, a good career. Absolutely. That's a very good goal to have. And just one final question from me, and that is in this business, obviously you can have your good days and bad days, but what do you think is one quality or one thing to have that really makes you successful in this business? Um, you know, I, I work hard. I do, you know, I try and work hard. And, and uh, another thing that's important is I think the weight, you know, a lot of people – you know, aren't really dedicated to their weight, you know, as much. But with me, I think that's kind of a big deal to some trainers. And, I, you know, I definitely do my best when it comes to dedicating myself to doing the weight. I just want to say thank you to uh, my family, my friends, and uh, especially my agent and um, all the trainers and owners that have given me the opportunity to ride for them.